Total War for Hero Part 35 of our Sparta campaign with this is Total War achievement. We are at war with about 30 or 32 guys right now. We're fighting all across the borders. Now this guy here, Logai, they seem to be doing really well. They took out Catrioni. They usually start somewhere here, so they made good progress. And they sent an army to raid us. We are not allowing anyone to raid us within our land, so we're going to push them back. They probably won't accept the battle, but let's see. Well, they are accepting the battle, that's excellent. We can uh, auto-resolve, but we know very well what will happen. They'll just retreat with barely any losses. So instead we are going to crush them in the battlefield. Alright, we are attacking uphill, that's not ideal. However, we also have ballistas, so that makes it less bad. Actually, here is fine, it's almost flat, so we are going to set up here. Ballistas up front, or rather at the back. Our pikes will form a main line of defense with uh, phalanx on. General at the back, and a couple of hoplites on each flank. So you guys come here, and the two of you will move here. Now, I don't think they have much in terms of cavalry. Doesn't matter where we put our peltasts. Uh, we're gonna put archers behind these guys, and the single citizen calf should be on this side, as uh, we have height advantage here. And gonna put Peltas over here too. Okay, let's do it. Guys, you move here. Pikes, you need to spread out a little bit more, like this. Cavalry, you come here. And Peltas, you guys come behind these hoplites here. Let's speed this up. We can't see them, so we're going to send Sits and Cav to scout around a little bit. Oh, here they are. Okay, they are going for us. Excellent. Ballista's already shooting. Perfect. Sits and Cav come back. Yeah, just make sure you are bombing the Spiro guy, he's by far the strongest from the stuff they have. Ah, we can't see them because obviously it's uh, it's not as flat as you would like it to be. Right, you need to scout and uh, find them. Oh, 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 back, 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 back. There is a cavalry here after all. Get out of here, get back. Ballista shooting, excellent. Why this one is moving? Just shoot something. Oh, we just barely avoided that round of javelins. That would be really hurtful. Yeah, we've not lost a single guy. Good. As it happens, we have our own skirmishers here. So let's see who first better. Wait, what is this? What is this? Get back! Right, we need to crack on because this ballista just did something really silly and got out of our line. Guys, you move and you move. You can start moving. You just bomb anything really. And you guys... No, 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 no. You get back. You charge at them. You go behind them. How are we doing here? They are bumping into our phalanx. Excellent. Start uh, encircling them. And all the ballistas, you can now start bombing his general. And you charge at these slingers. Guys, okay, so you pull back just a little bit. You guys go behind them. You move here. Yeah, we'll get nice charge on these slingers. Everyone holding pretty well, looking good. Our line is holding really well here. Start wrapping around them. Pelt us, you guys. Go behind them. Oh, we cut these guys, but we need to make sure we avoid round of javelins from his general. So move to the side, and you can just uh, charge at them. Attack this guy now. This one has enough, perfect. Drop this formation and just charge at him. And you charge at him. And you also attack him. Guys, speed up, what are you doing? Okay, we got his uh, second slinger routing, excellent. Just make sure you keep avoiding these javelins from his general. We might need to pull back. Absolutely don't want him to get around on us. We've already lost 10 of these sits and calves. His general will melt away too. He's under fire by three ballistas. Unless they do something silly again and start moving. Guys, you are supposed to target this stuff. I'm sure this is not too difficult for you. Okay, we are absolutely destroying them here. First unit started to waver. This rear charge from uh, 
Spartan Hoplites did it. Guys, you start bombing them, and the two of you can go into Hoplite Wall. Attack these slingers. How is his general looking? Down to 109 men. In fact, forget about them. They are too close to the general. We would rather get uh, a round of stones than javelins. One ballista out of ammo? That's fine. Don't worry about it. We are winning here across the board, so it shouldn't be an issue. Right, you attack these guys. They're shaken. The other two are wavering. Excellent. Looks like this is the only guy that continues fighting, but he's also shaken. Right, we need to fight these guys off. You attack this, and you attack this. The Paltas are strong enough for mm, a quick melee engagement. They, especially, th these guys have like 63 melee defense, 64 armor. It's a bit unfortunate we lost half of this guy, but help is on the way. Probably would have been better to keep him uh, behind our lines. How are these slingers? Down to 65, his general down to 70. We are bombing him with the last ballista we have remaining. Uh, these guys are giving up too. Okay, archers, you guys can start moving. We'll use you to finish the general off. Oh, we're absolutely destroying this club, Levy. Peltas, you can pull back a little bit. You need to help the... Oh, everyone's wavering. Good, it's just his general now. He's actually wavering too. Get out with this guy's range. And you can charge at him. And you can throw your javelins at him. Okay, archers, start shooting the slinger. Oh, it's over. Okay, gonna wipe them out. Yeah, it was well worth playing. We only lost 10% and not 25, and they only got away with two units. Not too bad. Gonna release them. No, oh, sorry, Mr. Rank 7. Excellent. Gonna give him more movement. Now we can either double time towards the Death Souls, or we can hire the last unit, Sitzenkov. I think we should double time, because we don't know if there'll be no attack uh, at uh, Pulpudeva and this. Uh, in our absence, a lot of things can go wrong. It's also not good to be at the very edge of the territory here. Now, on the other hand, if we double time and there's another stack here, he can attack us. What's his range? Ah, he can't, because it just takes a lot of movement to get through the river. Okay, so we should be fine. Just get out of here. We hire Sitsin Cav later on. Okay, so who else is attacking us? Just destroyed this guy's uh, couple of stacks here. He needs to rebuild from scratch, but our guys are also slightly... Well, massively beaten up. So, gonna go back here, replenish, and also hire more ships. We only have this junk available here, so get four of them. What is this? Okay, this is the leftovers from RJ boys, whom we absolutely destroyed in defensive battle once again in Apollonia. Now we have a really good army here with Europus in charge. We don't need it though, um, for them. We need it heading towards uh, Alexandria, so you crack on. Next turn we can either get on the sea or hire one more unit. I don't think we, we should spend uh, delay the invasion just to hire another guy. Ah, he also needs ballistas. If we'll be... If Alexandria is well defended, we might need something to knock the walls down, unless we use that fleet and knock the walls down with the um, artillery fleet. It might be worth getting more of these ships too, they might be quite useful, but they are so expensive. We'll see if we have any money left at the end of the turn. Okay, then we have also this guy, our Basileus, rank 10 general with really good army, just rotting here, keep an eye on things. Now we know these guys, RJ, have nothing, but these boys could very well have a stack or two, so how about, instead of just uh, waiting here for them and they'll never come, we set an ambush, just invite them to come. Like, is this a forest? No, it's bushes, how about here? 55% looking good. So if you come here and set an ambush, we're looking at... We're only covering this road, but it's unlikely they'll go there. Why should they? If there's a nice uh, undefended settlement here, they'll probably just go right into our trap. Okay, so that covers the east. What's happening up north? We have a full stack from Norai approaching Potavium. We've already beaten them up uh, quite a few times in exactly the same setup, so nothing to worry about. Um, these guys, Helvatai, we just destroyed their stack not too long ago, and same with these guys. They are recruiting up to 20, so it is possible they will attack. If we want them to attack, we should invite them to by setting a trap somewhere here. 25%. They have agents here. They will see our army anyway, right? There's very little benefit in doing that. Maybe we just stay inside and improve public order. No, we should 
we should set the trap. Even if it fails, at least we will give ourselves an opportunity to destroy them. Because the thing is, if they both recruit and get up to like two stacks at the same time, then we will be facing four stacks. It's important to be trimming them um, all the time and not letting them build up. Now here we also destroy the full stack of our Vernix, Let's give him more movement and let's scout a little bit with him, let's see what they have, because eventually we will want to take the Loza. maybe it's even going to be very soon. Ah, it's not going to be very soon because it's well guarded. Can we come a little bit closer, just to see what they have? Naked warriors, levy freemen and a pile of crap, 9 units here. Ah, this is a heavy garrison, 3 chosen swords, 2 heavy horse. It's better stuff than we have actually. Okay, so they could also be hiring strong units here, but by the looks of it, they are still operating with crap stacks. Here's what we can do, we can retreat and invite them to attack us, here, which will be 36 versus 20. We should be okay though, by the looks of it, they don't seem to have many strong units, like these guys, 10 armor, come on. Our archers will just target them and absolutely destroy, and this is obviously crap. So it looks like it's a crab stack. Maybe they have a couple of chosen swords and heavy horses, but nothing major. This looks like a crab stack too. I, I don't like this. Like, they are trash. Just look at them. Yeah, melee defense is fine, but uh, weapon damage is crap. And what is 10 armor? It's like nothing. You just shoot them with archers and you absolutely obliterate them. But the problem with this is if we retreat here and just wait for them, they might bring another stack and then it will be 3 versus 1. That might be too much. Might be too much for us to chew. If we retreat, we also don't know where we end up. Hopefully on our side of the river, even defending a river crossing, but there's no guarantee that this will actually be the case. So maybe it's smarter just to get back to Massalia. But then again, we are letting them build up to almost two full stacks and if they bring another one in, we'll be in big trouble. If we had movement, we would just fortify here, but uh, we don't. Okay, retreat. We'll see what happens. We, we can see all the way here, there's nothing here. We've been up to here. Unless there's a stack right here to help them out, we're only looking at 36 units. I think we can beat them easily. Considering they, if these were chosen swords uh, stacks, obviously they would win, but uh, this crap we should be able to beat. We have phalanx, right? What are they going to do about it? Unless they bring a lot of Gaelic hunters, it's not gonna work. And this stack only has two shooters by the looks of it. So we're gonna stay here with him and just defeat them in a defensive battle. Okay, so that takes care of the north, which leaves us Africa. We also have a fleet here that we are happy to keep here, just to keep an eye on the seas. And what's happening in Africa? Okay, so there is that, uh, sorry, leftover of uh, Libyan army approaching Lepsis. They have three units, they can hire mercenaries, of course they can. How many are available? Uh, these five are only for us, so they can hire four shooters, and that's it, so they'll be up to seven units. Plus they'll take some attrition on these guys. This is not even like a proper unit, this is absolute trash, these bodyguards. So we are looking at uh, 14 units defending. A little bit depleted, but nothing major. We can easily win this uh, with the garrison alone. So he can crack on and take Sidamos next turn. Should move him here, and just stay here. Ah, we should have moved slightly less and fortify or go into ambush. But that's alright, it's not a big deal. Get me more logistics to replenish more. We need replenishment now. Should we build to full stack with this guy? I don't think so. Why should we? It's like nothing that Numidian can send at us is uh, of any threat from what we've seen so far. So why waste money on that? Here, however, it could be tricky. They have two stacks approaching. This is a crab stack, but this one is actually pretty good. Elephants, pikes, uh, some junk as well, but who knows how many elephants and pikes they have. Well, we know they have could have five elephants for all we know and seven pikemen, so need to be careful here. I don't even think they'll attack, because uh, they shouldn't be favored in Alter Resolve. We have 16 stack fleet here, 20 stacks slightly beaten up, and a strong garrison, right? 16 units. Yeah, it's not really 16. Everyone is uh, two-thirds dead, so call it four, maybe. Still, Alter Resolve should favor us, so we want to give them a nudge to attack us. So how about we go out and uh, fortify, just out with reinforcements range. So there's a nice juicy target for them to attack. I like that. Can they go around though? Uh, let's let's find out. Let's move just out with reinforcement range. The thing is, if we fortify, reinforcement range also increases. But no, we are not supported by town. How far can they go? They can't attack the town going around us. Because the fort has pretty big zone of control and they would need to move through rough terrain. So they can end the movement here but not attack the town, which is ideal. And also, as this guy is not supported by the garrison, he now presents them a very juicy target to attack. They could even bring a third stack, but I think we can even be three stacks uh, defending here. Like, all this is absolute crap, and we now can see they only have one pikeman. The citizen cav is also not very useful attacking fort, 
a single elephant, we have javelins for him. And this is absolute joke, this army. So even if they bring another stack from him, we can easily beat them defending this fort here. Plus we get better replenishment from the fort defense, from the fort fortified stuns. And he should hire more ships, get me another four of them and replenish. Okay, we wanted him, the hero, to join this guy to level him up, so do that. We have a little bit of money left, so why don't we actually hire these uh, hoplite ships? It's gonna reduce our income by a thousand, but that's fine. We are making 5k now, we'll still be making 4k, and there are not that many buildings we care to build. Okay, Democritus still has tons of gravitas, so let's embezzle funds with him. The Aeropus should gather some support. We are at 91%, getting the peerless bonuses, but these guys are now super unhappy, so we're going to secure loyalty for 1200. And we still have a little bit of money left over, we can build something. Tapsus has a free building spot, we need our culture here to convert it, although we already have two temples. The public order seems fine, but it's improving really slowly, so maybe a third building for public order would be good. Now, Carthago has this massive bonus, 25 to wealth from all commerce, so it would make sense to build some commerce building. Like, this stuff is really good. Uh, it takes away food, but we have 40 food, so why not? Build it. We also need public order here, so let's build this stuff. Improve horses in Larissa. Okay, now, here's the thing. Aeropus is our best recruiting general. He's got, like, Infantry Command 3, right? He can hire guys with 3 gold chevrons. But he's also extremely old. He is about to die at any time. 77. There's no guarantee he'll live another turn. We should replace, uh, put someone else in charge of this army, because next turn, once we take um, that uh, settlement in Africa, we'll jump, hopefully, to next Empire level, and we'll be able to get two new armies. So if we replace him now, we can rehire him next turn, and hopefully get at least one or maybe two... Oh, wait. One or maybe two rounds of recruitment from him. I basically build another really strong army here. So let's put someone else in charge, and then someone else should be hopefully someone with big movement. You know what? I'm just gonna put him in charge. Just whoever is... Like, Democritus is good. He's got double movement bonus, and he ran off out of Gravitas. So put him in charge. Can also upgrade this temple here for better public order, and that's uh, us out of money. Still to war? We are? Let's move on. Oh, research, of course. What do we want? Maybe this, 5% melee attack, defense, and 15% missile damage. This is actually really good. Let's get it, it's only 5 turns too. Then we can go for this, for even more shots per minute. Like, these two are insane, that's like 35% shots per minute. You're getting 4 shots in the time the enemy gets 3 out. Makes archers and peltas much, much better. Now this is also really good. 10% attack, defense, 8 charge, 10 morale. It's like, yeah, absolutely gonna get these 3. Okay, let's move on. Okay, our Verney boys took the bait. Let's see what they've got. So first of all, they have 5.3k versus our 2.5. That's slightly more than 2 to 1. They do have some tier 3 units. 5 here by the looks of it. Ah, uh, Scutari have is also like tier 3, so let's, let's make it 6. And the rest of it is junk. Like, these guys are way better than Levy Freeman, but nowhere near as good as our infantry. So this stack has 7 good units and a pile of crap, only one shooter. But we'll be facing this one first. He's got three slingers, one cavalry, and no tier 3 units, right? Just this uh, spear warrior is tier 2. I'm pretty sure naked warrior is tier 2 too. Maybe it's tier 3, but it's 10 armor. Come on, we're gonna absolutely obliterate him with archers. Yeah, we should be fine here. The odds look dreadful, but they always do. So let's jump right in. Okay, we are slightly downhill again, which is not nice at all. But at least we have decent, uh, decently clear line of sight. Now, the other army should be coming from behind them, but uh, you never know. They definitely won't be coming from here because there was sea over here, and if anything they were more to the right. So we could set up somewhere here. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. So, pikes. Ah, we still have this one Prioiko pike. This is, this is not good. This guy is going to break again. Barbarians always come wide, in one wide line, so we need to spread out two. Gonna put three guys on this side, gonna put two guys over here, and three hoplites over here. Our lone ballista here, general at the back, archers we are going to put behind our pikemen, and peltasts should be here, so we can flank with them. And we also have a lot of cavalry, so we're going to put two on each flank, and let's do it. Okay, so you guys spread out a little bit, like this. You guys go here, cavalry even further out. 
Where from? Oh, behind them, as we expected. That's fine. They're, they're going to take forever to get here. It's not a problem. You guys spread out and cavalry come here. We're really wide, but thin. So, fortunately for us, they don't really have many shooters in this army. So, and attacking up front into phalanx is not going to work for them. Now, we're going to bomb them a little bit, but we're going to save like half of ammunition for the other army. That other army has chosen swords and heavy horse, so it's important to have something for them. Whereas these guys have no armor, so they will be easy enough to destroy with uh, melee and ranged units. Okay, they're in range. We are going to start bombing the guy right in the middle, so collateral goes on the shooters too. And we're sending Tarantin Cav. So we can start harassing his general. Hopefully maybe take him out with a lucky shot. Palista, how are we doing? 20 kills? Is that the best you can do? Come on. Okay, slow down. They're getting close. You come here. And... Oh, the heavy horse is on the way. The turn team will be useless. Come back. It's heavy horse times three. Oh, and Scutari, of course. These guys move too fast to even bother shooting them with Ballista. We should be shooting infantry. 60 kills, not spectacular. You know what? Uh, what can we do with this Tarantino? Not much, just try to get the shot on these level 3 men. Okay, they're turning. Guys, you pull back a little bit. Oh, heavy horse are going after Tarantino. Pull back. Okay, they turned more towards our infantry. Good. Ballista, you stop shooting. Keep the rest of the ammunition for the other boys. Right, there is his Gaelic horse here trying to sneak out, but there's also a heavy horse. Pull back. Right. We need to countercharge these guys. So attack them. Now, diamond here and attack. Diamond here and attack. Sitzen Cap is not going to beat the heavy horse, but at least it will buy us some time. Right, you attack the staff. You attack the staff. And this is another heavy horse. Okay, sits in calf. You help him out and you bomb him a little bit. How are we doing here? We pin this light horse. Right, you guys start bombing his uh, heavy horse. You attack this. You come here and you attack this. The Tarantin, you can start moving for his... Uh, right. Ballista, you have now these guys in range. Start bombing them. Tarantin, attack. Uh, you'll need to attack the shooters. Oh, they charge into our... Scut the Scutari charge into our guys. This is not smart. Not smart. Should be destroying this. Ah, uh, Slingers, attack them. How are you doing here? Doing alright. Guys, you pull back. Let him charge the hoplites. Don't fight the stuff. Just bomb him. Not working very well. Okay, we're getting a charge on the slingers. That's excellent. You charge these guys. In fact, no. This Scutari is here. But you need to be on the move, Tarantine. The round of javelins from generals can absolutely destroy you. Ballista, you switch to the blob. Attack these slingers now. How are we doing here? Ah, fighting Levy Freeman is a horrible idea. Pull back from here. Help him out instead. And you bomb him. Tarantine, get out of here. Okay, you should be fighting this and you destroy him. How come this heavy horse is still standing? You drop the formation and wrap around him. Oh, he's wavering now, excellent. Okay, sits and cav, you charge at this level free man. Tarantine, get out of here, you're fighting infantry, you shouldn't be doing that. Artillery out of ammo, not so good, not so good. Sparta, you come around and you help him out. This heavy horse is broken, excellent. You chase him, you come back. In fact, ignore it. It's broken. It won't be coming back. It's shattered now. Attack here. Are they chasing us? No. Cool. We can uh, start enveloping them. Pikeman, you attack the stuff. You attack him and you charge this. You come here. 
you drop the switch and attack these naked warriors. What is this? Naked warriors, blah blah blah. Who's wavering? One of our peltas? No, it's a sitting cav. Oh well, it's unfortunate. Okay, we should be able to get the charge on these guys. This guy has enough, cool. Attack him. Uh, General is fighting our pikes. This should not end well for him. What are you fighting here? Naked warriors of our cavalry. This is not a good idea. Pull back. You attack them instead. They were broken just moments ago, but uh, not anymore. Okay, you. Uh, this is a pikeman, right? Okay, so just uh, attack this guy. We have him between two pikes. That should be the end of him. You attack here. You come here. You're destroying slingers, but other infantry is close and they have javelins. Get out of here. How are we holding with these guys? Going to Hoplite Wall. They are badly beaten up. You start enveloping them. You need to help them out. You charge at them. Pikemen are holding up surprisingly well, but uh, nothing else is. The Hoplites are about to break on the left flank. You come closer. Hopefully this charge will be any good. How many kills? 127 right now. Okay, you come here. Attack this stuff. Yeah, we really need to destroy these uh, shooters. You attack this. We won't hear, okay, guys, you attack his general. We might have to throw our general in here. Bump this guy. Come here. And you charge at them. Tarantine, how did you do? 190 kills, you got 60 kills charging at infantry, excellent. Okay, finally we are destroying these slingers. You get rid of this guy. We're winning here, good. His general should be in trouble now. Okay, our line basically broke here. It's really bad, but the general is on the way to help. Guys, you attack them. Tarantino, you chase these guys. You wipe out the slingers. Another slinger and another slinger. So many shooters here. Oh man. Okay, attack them. And you attack them. General should hold here. It's 140 men. Guys, you attack this. And Pikes attack his general. Guys, you drop the formation and you should deal with this guy by now. What is this? Okay. We got another slinger. Now attack these youths. And you make sure you wipe these guys out. How are we doing here? General holding. 137 men. He barely lost any men. Nice. Levy Freeman, Levy Freeman. They're coming slowly. We still have some time. Just waiting for this guy to break. Tarantine, you pull back. Rear charge these guys instead. I hope they have no javelins because they are really close. You know what? Just forget about the slingers. Just attack these guys. His general is still holding. He's fighting three pikemen. But it's not gonna last for long. Why is this archer not shooting? He's got full ammunition. What is this? Attack this guy. General still here? Yeah, 129 men. Looking very, very strong. 90 kills already. Excellent. Guys, you pull back. Uh, what are these archers doing? They stay. Uh, this fight is like 10 minutes long already, and he barely got uh, a fifth of ammunition used. Right, uh, you need to pull back. These guys are approaching. Uh, get me this slinger out of uh, the question. Uh, Peltas are losing badly against this stuff, the naked warrior boys. General though, he's doing an amazing job here. Okay, his general is retreating, in which case we can follow up with one pie and send the other two to help this one out. Okay, you charge at this guy. How are you doing here? Tarantin Cav is almost dead. Pull back. Archers, you aim at his general. Pike attack his general. You help him out. You come here. You should reposition a little bit. General, how are you doing? Down to 114. We will need to help him out eventually. Alright, you start mopping these guys out. You're only 19 men, you won't be of much use here. Ah, these chosen spears, so tough. His general, uh, 45 men. You know what? Better start shooting this blob. We lost this archer to the Levy Freeman. Not so good. Spartan pikes attack him. His general down to 41. They will not last for long. You go into Hoplite Wall. Our general, 102 men, losing decisively. Now he's surrounded from all sides. 
we really need someone else to help him out, but uh, we don't really have anything else here. Right, Pikeman, you attack the staff. We need to get through his general before we do anything else, but this guy is now attacked from rear. Ugh. Such a nightmare. Okay, we are bogged down here fighting this spearman as well. Right, cavalry, come here. You come back, whatever you are. 65 sits and calves, fresh. Come on, you should be fighting here. Attack the stuff. Okay, we need you here too. Attack them. Chosen sword shaken. Good. His general seems like he's withdrawing. Pikes attack him from all sides. Archer, how are you doing? 115 kills. General down to 76 men. He might die at any time now. Half a unit is gone. You charge at this. Sitson, how are you doing? 100 kills, nice. 112, 116. You're doing really well, 120. Just keep it in for a while. His general is down. Okay, guys, you attack here. You attack here. And you attack these guys. Looks like we got this. Pull back. You pull back. You'll charge again. This one's fine. Oh, this is our guy. But we won't here. Excellent. Come here. Riders at the double. You can start chasing someone if we can even find something. Okay, you charge again at this. You start chasing these guys. And you guys attack this stuff. You rear charge the spearman. You come behind them. Tarantine. Find something and finish them off, like these guys. No, there's only four of them. Forget about them. Just attack this. Sitzenkov, how are you doing? Almost 200 kills. Nice. 200 actually. Okay, start chasing these guys. It's only four units left. What are they? Naked warriors, naked warriors. Oath Sworn. Oh, that's why it's so tough here. Our general is down to 40 men though. We need to help him out fast. Winning here, good. The battle is turning in our favor. You attack the Oath Sworn and you start coming back and maybe wiping these guys out. How many are here? Nah, just finish them off. Make sure they don't come back. And you attack them. It's just an awesome general, now wavering. He's surrounded from all sides. But there's 150 of them. Yeah, he collapsed. Excellent. We won, but just barely. Oh, that was pretty close one, I would say. Gonna wipe them out. Alright, it was pretty close, we actually even lost two units, but uh, it was well worth it, just look at this, almost obliterated two full stacks, well this one was at 16 units, but still, pretty good. They got away with three guys here and two guys, one guy here, not too bad, okay, gonna release them. Alright, so this is going to be our first loss of the campaign. We dropped the ball a little bit here, although we had no idea the Helvetai boys have a full fresh stack that we didn't see at all until now. We just destroyed their stack a couple of turns ago and we thought they only have a lone general left. But apparently... Apparently that's not the case. So yeah, we're just going to try to kill as many of them as possible and maybe we get lucky. Let's give it a go. Right, so we absolutely dropped the ball here with uh, not expecting Helvati to have a full stack out of nowhere. Uh, it's going to be our first loss, but we'll try to take as many of them with us as possible. We have a Spartan Pike and this uh, town looks like it's excellent for defense. It's got like an inner castle within a castle, so with only one core.
quite wide but still choke point so we set up the way that we have our two crappy youths ahead to absorb the first couple of charges and javelins then we have our spartan pike in the middle and two uh, priyoku hoplites uh, on flanks to kind of protect him so he we can get uh, like uh, a row or two deeper than usual and slingers behind them fully expect this to be a loss but we'll see right so we're bobbing spear noble with a uh, couple of arrow towers, uh, just one now, but still something. Gonna send our slingers here to start bombing him. Now these guys have a long way to go before they get to the ladders, so hopefully this will buy us a little bit of time. We can also just run down the timer, it's like not that easy to um, take us out of 40 minutes. Oh, we're absolutely smashing them with uh, slingers now, down to 150. He's just standing there. It's not gonna work out very well for him. Yeah, he's just standing there, taking the beating. 130 left. What are these guys doing? They're running away? Half of them is here. The other half is running away. Why are we not shooting them? Shoot them. What is this? It's like 120 of them left. Okay, all this junk is coming up this way, but they can't get on walls unless they have ladders, right? So they'll need to go all the way around. Why are we not shooting these guys? What is this? Is this like kind of a bug? Even our, our arrow towers are not shooting them. It's really weird. Well, we just wait then, I guess. Yeah, we are scoring a, a kill here and a kill there with arrow towers, but it's not going to make massive difference. They went for a second ladder, they're just camping there. Half of them is here, why is this arrow tower not shooting them? What's happening? They don't control them, we do. Maybe we should make sure we actually control it, just come here. No, we don't want you to open the gates, this is a bad idea. Where are the other guys going? Approaching ladders now. It's already taking them 10 minutes just to get here, but uh, in half an hour surely they can beat one Spartan pike. Okay, maybe it's time to start pulling slingers back a little bit. Okay, so where are they going? Still getting hammered by the towers, but we only maybe killed like maybe 20, 30 guys in total. That might add up over the whole battle. Yeah, they are now sending infantry for the ladders by the looks of it. No, they are not. They are just bumming around here. Will they try to... Yeah, they'll try to burn the gate. How is it looking? Fire damage 27. Yeah, they'll most certainly succeed. Then everyone will get in. Fire damage 40. And with this guy on the wall, we can't even put slingers there. Unfortunate, but not much can be done here. I wonder how many you've killed with arrows so far. With arrow towers. Probably quite a few, actually. 60% oh, fire damage. The axe warriors are down to 112 men, but still, at this rate, it's never gonna happen. This stuff is not going far enough. They're not hitting it. What is happening here? Still at 60%. 20 now. Uh, 20 damage. 21. So they are hitting it a little bit, or is it just damage accumulating from fire? It's hard to say, but uh, we are shooting them. Officer 2, down to 148. They also almost used half of the time for this uh, siege, so that's not looking that great for them, considering they are still outside. 29% damage, huh? It's gonna take them a while at this rate. They might have only like 10 minutes to kill our guys inside. And they need to take all the victory points, right? Which are three of them. Especially this one is going to be pretty tough for them, considering we have a nice treble line of defense here. Right? I'm now under no impression that these guys over here will last long. But uh, they'll buy us some time. And then it's up to pikes and hoplites. 36% damage. 19 and a half minutes remaining. Yeah, we basically destroyed this Axe Warrior. Good. Now we'll be shooting the Oathsworn with everything. He's down to 135 men. That's actually looking... We might actually be able to pull it off, right? At this rate, they're going to take forever to burn this gate. I don't understand why they didn't pick up the ladders with the rest of their infantry. They should have already been all inside swarming us, but it uh, doesn't seem to be working. Like, what is this? They should be able to get through here too. Damage 47%. Would be good to kill these three guys, you know? Arrow Towers. Can you do that? Bombing the short sword. Oh, this one has enough. 
We killed 160 of them with this tower. This is interesting. It's like they are taking such heavy casualties just by standing too close. Fire damage 73%. Hmm. The enemy general is dead. Haha, <laughs> we got a lucky hit on the general. That's not gonna help them. We might want to get on the walls though. But I don't know what will happen with these guys. They're just standing here. It looks like a bug because our towers are not hitting them and we can't shoot them with the singers. So maybe we'll get into melee with them if we get on the walls. Yeah, because they're trying to target the guy that's like next to the ladder. So just gonna stay here and see what happens. If someone gets through the gates, we can at least get a few shots on them. Also run down to 40 men. Still eager, I wonder how. They lost 3 quarters of a unit just standing like idiots uh, under the walls and getting destroyed by these scorpion towers. 29 now. Damage 59%. You know what? I don't think they can break through the gate by the time the, the battle actually ends. I think we are just going to win it by doing absolutely nothing. Which is yet another testament to how bad Room 2 AI is. It's like, Auto Resolve was so favored to them that our guys didn't even register on the bar. And yet, we are standing here, haven't lost a single man, and probably already destroyed like 4 or 5 full units with just the arrow towers. 71% damage. Oh, it's going much faster now. They finally managed to put it on fire. 92, 94. Okay, so they will get through. They have 9 minutes and a bit. Gates are utterly destroyed. They are approaching. Okay. Can we start shooting this? Yeah, we are not shooting him. Finally. No, we are not. They are coming though, so... This guy will be coming out from here, so we want our slingers here, so we can get a couple of rounds on him before we retreat. We still have 9 minutes. This is going to be interesting. Oh, he's already here? Come on. Slingers, get out of here. So one general is dead, the other one is down to 115 men. If we can bring him here so he actually attacks our pikemen, that would be really good. Get around on him and then get out. No, 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 don't go there, just get out. Yeah, he's going behind us, he's going after us. Okay, get inside. We have... We have, have taken a tower. towers here, excellent. This tower will cost them many men. 110 left. Right, if not for the fact that the other guys are coming, we would have retreated our Spartan youths to save them, but uh, we can't. Just gonna hold the fort and see how it goes. You shooting? Excellent. Keep shooting. All right, seven minutes to go. Can we make it? Our general is under attack. General is under attack. Yeah, they all have javelins. We know that. The Spartan youths are still fighting, though. Swords are here. All right, slow it down. The first Spartan youth is almost done. We're losing decisively. Twenty men left. He's wavering now. We have 140 in here, and then it's down to Spartan pikes and hoplites. 155. They only managed to kill five of javelins. He's not fighting in melee yet, but he's under fire. How are our slingers looking? 18 and 14 kills, that's close to nothing. Okay, they got this victory point, and they'll probably get that one, but uh, that's not good enough, right? Yeah, the Spartan youth, I underestimate these guys. They are actually holding up pretty well. They bought us like a couple of minutes already. 116. They're going to take another like a minute or two to get through. And uh, we are under 6 minutes till the timer runs out. 18 and 14, not too bad. They got 30 of our guys with javelins though, so that's not so good. Going to shrink him a little bit so he's good. Ah no, just leave him as is. That's fine. Hoplite's getting shot at into unshielded side, which is also not so good. Trying to reposition them a little bit. Like this. Spartan pikes down to 120. They are going to kill us with javelins. What we should have done is also set uh, hoplites in front of our pike, and not just these guys. But we'll see how we, how it goes. Yeah, youths are done. We have five minutes to go. Now it's up to pikemen. 
Look at the kill count, 20 already, in almost no time. Go into Hoplite Wall. 118 pikes left, 40 kills on them already. How are these guys doing? 5 kills. Slingers, 18 and 14. You're doing absolutely nothing here. What is this? Why are you not shooting? Pull back a little bit. Maybe you can't see them. His Spear Noble is here, 90 men left. Pycon, how are you doing? 100 kills, 117 men left. I think we are too close for them to throw javelins. Short swords, confident, huh? How are you doing against them? Combat even, okay. And you? Combat even. Spartan Pike, combat even. 111 men, 140 killed. You know what? We might pull it off. There's not enough time for them to break through this. And now that the blob formed, they can't effectively use javelins. They are only throwing one here and there. We still have 110 men left here. Three and a half minutes to go. Ah, these guys are useless. What is this? 46 kills between them. And half of that was on that uh, noble spear on the walls. Taking fire. Attacking the rear. How did you manage to get attacked in the rear? Just charge at them. 108 men left, 200 kills. Eager. Eager is good. Morale is high. Steady Eager. They're not going to break anytime soon, these guys. Looking good for us, looking good. Three minutes to go. Some of them are getting really close, closing the distance, but do they have enough time? I don't think so, two and a half minutes. Our pikes are down to 99 men, killed over 300 already, and are ramping up kills like crazy. Under friendly fire, alright, this enough, you guys are absolutely useless. I wonder how many of these 100 kills are actually on our guys. Maybe you start shooting these skirmishers here, they are far enough that you should be shooting over our guys. 97, 100, 340 kills on the pikes, excellent. Even these guys are holding up surprisingly well. Well, they have 76 melee defense. They are only getting hit one every seven uh, times they strike at them. And 80 armor is also pretty good. Basically, these guys are, at this point, they are as good as the normal hoplites, despite being absolute crap in tier 1. Or is it tier 0? Yeah, we're going to win this. No doubt about that. We still have high morale. Unless we break, and I don't see this happening in a minute, they're just going to lose because they only have one victory point. Are we still under friendly fire? No, that's good. Inside fort. This bumps their morale. Perfect. This one's given up. Even got a few kills on the skirmishers. Aha, we might kill like 500 of them between... Wait, way more than that, right? The Arrow Towers alone killed like 3 full units. Then this guy killed... Probably will kill 500 by the time the battle ends. Another 150 from Slingers. Yeah, we might even kill like a thousand men here. Barely losing anything. Losing like half a garrison that was never actually meant to hold off a force of this size. The thing is, if they started, if they attacked with the big army and supported with the small one, we would be done because they would get uh, the four ladders on walls and uh, they would have swarmed us good 20 minutes earlier. But uh, they just shot themselves in the foot by attacking with a lone general. We might even be able to kill this guy by the time the timer runs out. Six seconds to go. We actually made it. We made it. Very lucky here, but still. I'll take it. Costly victory. There we go.
1700 kills, unbelievable. Wow, just wow. Yeah, we dropped the ball massively here by allowing this to happen in the first place, but uh, due to AI's incompetence we actually pulled it off. 1700 kills using the garrison alone, and the, such a crappy garrison, this spike killed 500 men. We would have probably survived another 5 maybe minutes, but no more than that, but just look at them, they didn't have that many men left to actually finish us off. What, the 3 healthy swords and maybe a 4th one between these 3 units and some skirmishers. Not too bad, not too bad, we are very lucky here, but uh, we managed. Gonna release them. Yeah, Libya, just wipe them out. 80 remaining is good. Oh wait, it's not good because there's a full stack from Massacilli here. We'll get one turn of replenishment though, so it might still be good enough. Or maybe we should fight this manually and assure we take no losses, because this guy's going to attack next, right? If we take 20% losses, that's like using two units out of the 10 we have here. What they've got? A general, sits in cav, or Tarantine Cav, one hoplite and four shooters. We should deal with these guys with our slingers. And then our cavalry can just... I don't see how we lose 20% here. We need to fight this one manually just because there's another stack in here that will attack us right uh, after them. But uh, we'll do this next time. I'll see you later.